Under what circumstances can a litigant proceed anonymously? The Fifth Circuit identified the necessary circumstances in Southern Methodist University Association of Women Law Students v. Wynn and Jaffe. The association and four women lawyers, anonymously identified as lawyers A, B, C, and D, sued two Dallas law firms, one of which was Wynn and Jaffe. The plaintiffs alleged that in hiring summer law clerks, the firms discriminated against women in violation of Title VII of the 1964 Civil Rights Act. The firms filed interrogatories seeking the identities of the anonymous lawyers and the names of the association's officers and members of its governing body. The association and the lawyers objected to the interrogatories and sought a protective order. They argued that revealing their identities would leave them vulnerable to retaliation from their current employers, prospective future employers, or a bar association that purportedly didn't like lawyers suing other lawyers. The district court ordered the plaintiffs to identify the anonymous lawyers and the association's officers and governing members, but only to defense counsel and the two named partners of Wynn and Jaffe. Counsel and the named partners were prohibited from revealing those names to anyone else, including other members of the firm. The association and lawyers A through D appealed to the Fifth Circuit.